Hello there, Ray here, and today I will be showing my AFK Silverfish XP farm that uses no dogs, beacons, or mending enchantments. This farm uses a wide range of interesting mechanics that I have discovered over the course of the snapshots. Silverfish spawners are unique in that they spawn in mobs that are relatively weak, but give decent amount of XP's when killed by player means. The way that this farm works is that once the lights are turned off, the silverfish will spawn up here and fall into this water which is flowing towards the center. Then I have a vine here that will reset their fall damage because some of them will jump before falling down. Once they have hit the bottom, they will only have one health point left. In this chamber is where you will AFK and kill the silverfish by player means so you can get the XP's. The way that I kill the silverfish is by using the thorns effect of armor. But I discovered while making my automatic dragon killing farm that in 1.9 you don't have to be wearing the armor but just holding the armor in your hand will give you the effects of thorns. I showed this on April Fool's Day and in response there was a ton of comments trying to figure out if this was a joke or not. Even though silverfish do a relatively low amount of damage compared to other hostile mobs, they can still kill the player. You could use armor with mending on it so that it would use XP's to repair the armor, but this would take away from the experience that comes from the silverfish. And in 1.9, the regeneration effect from beacons was nerfed and now can barely prevent you from starving to death on hard mode, let alone be able to regenerate your hearts after taking damage from the silverfish. So the way that I regenerate the player's health is by using a new 1.9 food mechanic that allows a regeneration-like effect to occur every time you eat some high-quality food, such as chicken. To keep the player hungry, I use a technique I call Induce Hunger. The way that I do this is by having the player do activities that causes them to lose hunger bars or by eating food that will give them a hunger effect. So for this farm, it took sprinting plus walking forward on normal mode to keep the player hungry enough so that he benefits from the cooked chicken to regenerate him and in the end keeping the player alive. So you will have your thorns armor piece in your off hand and you'll have your main food source in your main hand. And then when you hold down right click and you're not hungry, the player will try to use the right click option for the off hand right after trying to use the the right click option for the main hand and this option is to place the armor onto the player so to prevent this we have the player wearing some non-degradable equipment you can use elytra or mob skulls to block the slots but the cheapest is probably just using a pumpkin to block the head slot and then coming in and using a helmet with the thorns enchantment on for the off hand Something funny that I discovered is that if you have a stack of pumpkins that is more than one, you can actually shift click this into the head slot of the player. This is similar to the trick that I showed with the impossible brewing system video, where placing it in by hand doesn't work, but you could actually just shift click it into there. Now you just walk forward with sprint and activate this tripwire here, which goes to a clock that will bounce the player back with slime blocks and then the whole process repeats itself. The food source that I'm using is this chicken cooker farm here. The feathers are sorted out down below and there is a clock that will drop out the chickens to the player at a rate that will keep the player alive. But because silverfish are killed with the thorns effect which has a 45% of success with level 3, in theory this farm cannot be infinitely automatic. This is because there is a chance that the armor will never kill the silverfish and they will eventually kill you, even though statistically you would never run into this problem in your lifetime. This also means that holding a thorns piece in both hands will double the success rate of the effect. To run this farm while AFK on normal mode, you will want to be facing the slime blocks, then hold down sprint plus forward plus the right click keys, then you will want to hit F11. While it is switching over to full screen, you will want to release these keys. This allows the player to keep continually doing the same motion that he was doing prior to that. So now I have no hands on the keyboard and the player continues to do the same actions as he was doing prior. Another way to do this is by forcing a window to open on top of your Minecraft window. If you want to run this farm on hard mode, you will have to sprint jump forward as well as either using a better food source like steak and pork 
or induce hunger with food like raw chicken, rotten flesh, and pufferfish, which all can be acquired automatically, or just by using a resistance beacon. I'll show you a little trick that I discovered with beacons. So when you place it on your beacon and you try to get the uh, resistance effect here, you can see that it takes a complete two layers of the beacon to get this effect. And so if I come here and I complete the beacon, you can see that after I refresh it that the resistance option now is available. So let's say we select the resistance and now that we have resistance, now you can come back in and remove the bottom layer of blocks. So this way you can actually save all these blocks here just by removing them and now not only do you have the iron blocks or whatever block type to use, you also still have the beacon effect from the beacon. There is a world download in the description if you would like to check out this farm in more detail. There you have it guys, an AFK Silverfish XP farm that uses no dogs, beacons, or mending enchantment. So if you found this interesting, show me with a like. If you would like to see more interesting farms like this, subscribe and don't forget to comment. Bye bye.